Boeing X-32 was designed as a multipurpose fighter aircraft to compete in the Joint Strike Fighter, this contest aimed to create a next-generation fighter jet capable of fulfilling the needs of multiple branches of the U.S. military, including the Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps. Boeing's ambitious project, the X-32, faced off against Lockheed Martin's X-35, which would eventually evolve into the widely acclaimed F-35 Lightning II. Though the X-32 failed to secure the coveted JSF contract, its impact on aerospace technology and military aviation remains significant. In this detailed story, we will explore the journey of the Boeing X-32 from concept to its eventual loss in the JSF competition. We will examine the aircraft's design features, flight testing, and the challenges it encountered. Through this story, you'll gain insight into the significance of this aircraft in shaping modern aviation, as well as the lessons learned from its development. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into aviation history and technology. Don't miss out on our future stories about revolutionary aircraft and the people behind them. The JSF competition was initiated in the early 1990s, as the U.S. Department of Defense sought to replace several aging fighter jets across its military branches. The goal was to develop a single platform that could perform multiple roles, including conventional takeoff and landing (CTOL), carrier takeoff and landing (CV), and short takeoff and vertical landing (STAFLO). This versatile aircraft would replace a wide range of aircraft, including the F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-A-18 Hornet, and AV-8B Harrier II. In 1993, the Common Affordable Lightweight Fighter CAF, program was launched by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, with the aim of developing a stealth-enabled, multi-role fighter. Shortly thereafter, the Joint Advanced Strike Technology JAST, project was initiated, and by 1994, these two programs merged to form the Joint Strike Fighter JSF, program. The stage was set for a competition between aerospace giants to create a fighter jet that would shape the future of US and Allied military aviation. Boeing was awarded a contract in 1996 to produce two concept demonstrator aircraft CDA, as part of the JSF competition. The X-32 was Boeing's answer to the challenging requirements set forth by the U.S. Department of Defense. Boeing's strategy was built around a concept that prioritized affordability, both in terms of production and life cycle costs. To achieve this, Boeing focused on minimizing variations between different versions of the X-32, whether it was for the Air Force, Navy, or Marine Corps. This approach would reduce overall costs and streamline the manufacturing process. The most distinctive feature of the X-32 was its large, one-piece carbon fiber composite delta wing, which had a span of 9.15 meters and a 55-degree leading edge sweep. The wing design allowed for a thick section that could hold up to 20,000 pounds 9, kilograms, of fuel while maintaining aerodynamic efficiency. The high sweep angle minimized transonic drag and provided a platform for wing-installed conformal antenna equipment. One of the key innovations of the X-32 was its direct lift thrust vectoring system, designed to meet the Stoflow requirements for the U.S. Marine Corps. Unlike the Lockheed Martin X-35, which used a lift fan, Boeing opted for a system that vectored the main engine's thrust to achieve vertical takeoff and landing. This decision had a profound effect on the aircraft's design, including the placement of the engine directly behind the cockpit, which altered the aircraft's center of gravity and led to the iconic chin-mounted air intake. Despite these innovations, the X-32's design was not without its challenges. Boeing's decision to focus on cost-effective manufacturing meant that certain trade-offs had to be made. For instance, the Delta Wing design was initially favored for its simplicity and fuel efficiency, but as the Navy's maneuverability and payload requirements evolved, the X-32's wing design fell short. Although Boeing made design adjustments to improve agility and weight distribution, the changes came too late in the development process. The Boeing X-32A, designed for conventional takeoff and carrier operations, made its first flight on September 18, 2000, 
from Boeing's Palmdale plant to Edwards Air Force Base. Piloted by test pilot Fred Knox, the aircraft took off after a 2,200-foot run and quickly demonstrated its impressive speed and handling capabilities. Despite a minor hydraulic leak, the X-32A reached an altitude of 10,000 feet and performed most of the planned test maneuvers, including supersonic flight and in-flight refueling simulations. The X-32B, the Stoff Low variant, made its first flight on March 29, 2001. The X-32B's primary challenge was to demonstrate vertical takeoff and landing, a critical requirement for Marine Corps operations. Boeing's direct lift system, which relied on vectored thrust from the main engine, faced numerous difficulties. The design required removing certain components of the aircraft to achieve stop low flight, whereas the Lockheed X-35 could seamlessly transition between stop low and supersonic flight without such modifications. Despite these limitations, the X-32B successfully demonstrated vertical takeoffs and landings during testing, albeit with less efficiency compared to its rival. Both the X-32A and X-32B completed over 140 test flights combined. These tests demonstrated the aircraft's capabilities in supersonic flight, weapons bay operations, and carrier approach landings. Boeing was confident that the X-32 had met the key performance requirements set by the Department of Defense. However, Lockheed Martin's X-35 had proven to be a more versatile platform, capable of handling multiple mission profiles without requiring significant reconfiguration. Why the Boeing X-32 lost? The X-32's journey in the JSF competition was ultimately cut short when Lockheed Martin's X-35 was selected as the winner in 2001. Several factors contributed to Boeing's loss, despite the X-32's innovative features and successful flight testing. One of the key reasons for Lockheed's victory was the versatility of the X-35S design. Lockheed's lift fan system, combined with vectored thrust, allowed the X-35 to transition between vertical takeoff and supersonic flight without needing any major modifications. In contrast, Boeing's direct lift system required removing components from the aircraft to achieve stop low flight, making it less practical for real-world combat scenarios. Additionally, the X-32's design changes during development, particularly the switch from a delta wing to a more conventional tail design, were seen as problematic. Although these changes improved agility and weight distribution, the Department of Defense viewed the modifications as an indication that Boeing's original design was flawed. The X-32 also faced issues related to thrust and power. The aircraft was overweight and underpowered, which raised concerns about its ability to meet performance requirements in combat situations. Lockheed Martin's X-35 also had a more polished appearance and resembled the F-22 Raptor, which was already in development. This familiarity, combined with the X-35's superior performance in key mission profiles, gave Lockheed the edge in the competition. Despite these setbacks, Boeing accepted the Department of Defense's decision gracefully. The lessons learned from the X-32 program were later applied to other Boeing projects, including the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet and the X-45A unmanned combat air vehicle. While the X-32 never saw production, its legacy lived on in future Boeing designs. The X-32's legacy, lessons learned and impact on future aviation. Although the Boeing X-32 did not become the next generation joint strike fighter, its development process provided valuable insights that influenced future aircraft design and manufacturing. The X-32 program pushed the boundaries of what was possible in aerospace engineering, particularly in terms of low-cost manufacturing techniques and composite materials. Boeing's focus on affordability, while ultimately not enough to win the JSF competition, demonstrated the importance of cost-effective solutions in modern military aviation. The company's use of digital design and assembly methods accelerated the construction process and allowed for rapid modifications during testing. These techniques would later be incorporated into other Boeing programs, including unmanned aircraft and future fighter jet designs. 
The X-32 also played a crucial role in advancing thrust vectoring technology, which remains a critical component of modern fighter jets. While the X-32's direct lift system was not as successful as Lockheed Martin's lift fan, it contributed to the development of new propulsion systems that are still being explored today. The X-32's unique appearance, particularly its large air intake that resembled a smile, earned the aircraft a cult following among aviation enthusiasts. Though it only flew for a brief period between 2000 and 2001, the X-32 has become a popular subject of discussion in aviation circles, often celebrated for its bold design and ambitious goals. The Boeing X-32 may not have won the Joint Strike Fighter competition, but its legacy is one of innovation, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of aerospace technology. The lessons learned from the X-32 program continue to influence modern aircraft design, particularly in the areas of cost-effective manufacturing and thrust vectoring systems. While the Lockheed Martin X-35 evolved into the highly successful F-35 Lightning II, Boeing's contributions to the competition helped shape the future of military aviation. Ter text you wish spoken here.